Hey Adrenaline Junkies, uh, it's the Adrenaline Junkie here and uh, we have our new 2017 Razor Turbo sitting right here and uh, the goal is that we're going to break it in next weekend on our first ride. We're heading up north to a buddy's hunt camp. Uh, it's in northern Ontario and um, we can't drive it like this because it's not going to come back looking like this. So uh, the plan is to get a few basic accessories on here before we thrash it. Um, these are just the basics to get us started and kind of keep the razor looking good and, and functioning while we're up there breaking it in. Um, so here's some accessories we have for the machine uh, right now. Um, first one we got was actually these boosters. Uh, we got this from NOCO. They seen a bunch of our videos on our YouTube channel and they just thought like, hey, we're gonna send you this product because we think it'll work with what you're doing. So uh, stress it out, test it out, let us know how it does. And um, that's kind of the plan. So we're gonna assemble a little bit of a, a, a safety kit and a, a basic necessities kit for the Razor. Uh, and this is gonna be part of that. Um, obviously not super essential, but I mean, it's got a USB port. It's got some 12 volt outs. It's, it's, it's good to have, and it's got a flashlight. One of those and emergency trail bits. Yeah. And uh, if you need a boost, then it's gonna save your life. So here we've got a Dragonfire Racing uh, gusset kit uh, for the front suspension. Um, this is the same one that would go on a XP1000. The gusset goes under here and it strengthens all the lower suspension mounting points for the A-arms, doubles the thickness pretty much. So if you smack an A-arm really hard or a tire on something, it's not going to break or tweak the mounts in the frame, you're gonna break the A-arm. And an A-arm is a heck of a lot easier to replace than trying to fix a tweaked frame and ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, first razor I had, I kinda didn't know they had gusset kits. And I, this is the number one piece I would recommend everyone to put on their machine if you're not gonna do anything else. And it's just simple reinforcement, right? Put a gusset kit right? in the front end and, and save yourself the headaches. Yeah. Um, we got some other goodies here. I got. I got this thing a while ago. It's a cooler commander. You got to stay hydrated on the trail. Just keeps it in place, locks her yeah. down. I met these guys out at Mud Nats in Texas, the guy that developed this and stuff, super friendly guy. Uh, so yeah, you got to support the small guys and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to strap my cooler down. For all my cold bottled water. Yeah, trail waters. Uh, What's in the box? What's in the box? Our Super ATV box. These are also one of the most important upgrades, I think. Nerf bars. Yeah, so I haven't seen these yet, actually. Nor have I. Yeah. Oh, no? Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of ripped them apart. We oh, got nice the new crinkle finish. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Those are going to look sweet on the machine. Yeah, and they're going to save it. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you uh, already done that with all your machines? Those bars get used every ride. Every time you're out there, yeah. yeah. They're, they're shipped nice and safely. You can see all like the cardboard they gave you guys. Yeah, enjoy how they look. They'll never look like this again. Yep. Oh, hardware kit. As usual, nicely labeled. All the stiffs. Looks like you can have a bonfire. <laughs> Some fire started, that's for sure. Thanks, for great TV. <laughs> So these are the kind of things that is going to keep the, the nice crisp parts of your machine looking, nice looking and crisp. crisp and nice. They're going to take that abuse. I mean, you guys oh, probably already know if you're uh, adrenaline junkies. That ah, looks beautiful that already. Fits with. Yeah, that looks super nice. One thing I wish, like I noticed not many of them go farther for, forward here. Uh, I find on the trail, like the technical stuff, it's nice having them go all the way up here. But I see for like tire clearance and stuff, I'm sure they, they do that for a reason. Yeah, these are nice, eh? Doesn't that yeah. finish look awesome? Just bolt on. Nothing else in there? No hardware or something high? I don't think so. Check. <laughs> these are the new full pro armor doors. 
full of aluminum doors from Pro Armor. It's a little dusty because the pollen off the trees is like crazy this time of year. Luckily, I have no allergies. And those just go on the existing door hinge? Yeah. I think they slide right over these. Do they just plastic. go over top of the plastic? Yeah. Oh. Once again, they've done a decent job at uh, packaging and everything. I can't resist like, opening these. So I guess we got our hardware kit, some stickers. The driver's door, they even tell you. Oh, the quarters. Emblem. Dave's already got these on his new machine. Yeah. They look yeah, nice. He's got video of that too. Which he's got the bags or something, in right? now. <laughs> he's got the bags in, right? The, this. Yeah, he's got some bags in there and a few other accessories. They strap onto the inside of the door. They're pretty neat. It's hard to keep up with Razor Dave <laughs> in the modification department. So Razor Dave got his razor uh, about a day or two after me when I let him know I ordered mine. He had to follow suit. Um, so he kept the ITP Blackwater Evolution tires he had on his old 1000 and he put them on the stock rims and he kept his MSA vice wheels and he put the stock big horns on there because he likes them. So he's got a backup set of wheels and uh, the Blackwater Evolutions work a little bit better on the trail. Um, and the, the Maxis are just a bit better of a hard pack road tire we find, they drift nice. Like we mentioned in the video here, uh, it's hard keeping up with Dave and his mods. He um, He's the king of impulse mods, so um, he's always changing things up. You guys will remember his um, white Razor XP1000 from previous videos and previous seasons. Um, obviously he's shifted over to this platform now, so it should be fun watching him build this machine. He's got a lot of plans for it. Awesome. This video is being shot in early May. Oh, crawl's good, eh? yeah. So at this stage here, Dave hasn't even had a chance to ride this machine on the trail yet. Stay tuned to our other channel to see this thing getting abused. Gonna wedge over it. Almost looks. No, I'm gonna you have to take the parts apart. Yeah. Going. Yeah. There you go. Lamborghini Going doors on the kids, razor. Yeah. Oh, you got him to work, fish. Mm. Most likely, yeah. Give it to soft one of this and I can mill. We also like Volkswagens. Yeah, quite a few. And diesels. In general. There's a Honda Civic cutting in the back. I don't know who drives that. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> you instructions. I just wanted to look at the pictures. Oh. Drill needed in a quarter inch drill bit. Oh, well, we, I, don't I can't do that. Else. That sounds hard, right? Let's look at the other parts <laughs> we've got. <laughs> what else we got? The winch kit. We can stop and read through them and then yeah. go at it like a professional. So the last piece of kit we have is the Super ATV uh, winch plate and hardware. Uh, I guess the winch plate is completely different for the 2017 turbo model. Um, it's not the same as it was for the XPs, they've changed it up quite a bit. And then we have Super ATV's new 4,500 pound winch. So the winch plate matches the finish on the Nerf bars. And guess what? So does the winch. Oh. Itself? Yep. Nice. Oh. Fancy. She does look nice. Got the nice Super it ATV on very uh, similar to many other offshore yeah. winches. But um, yeah, everything seems to be covered with this nice crinkle coat. I love how the, the rope is, the synthetic line is black too. Mm -hmm. so it's no big deal, but I mean, 
I think it's cool. It comes with a wireless remote in black. It says Super ATV. We'll get a closer look at all this stuff later. Yep. Cool. And it comes with, I believe, a one-year warranty from Super ATV. So we'll uh, we'll put this thing on, and I think uh, I think uh, we could be easily be talking to really testing this thing out this weekend. Uh, what do you think, James? The uh, definitely a useful the thing great, to have on the great trail. North. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll winch ourselves up a tree or something. <laughs> oh my, who's that? It's a mascot now. I think it's the Adrenaline Junkie mascot. It's Gus. Gus. It's a great hiccup and we're on camera. So, uh, hey, we're gonna get ourselves together here and uh, we'll get back to you guys uh, once we're ready to install these parts. Right, Gus? Come on, buddy. Yeah, hey, get back to work. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to all the consecutive install videos of the parts you saw today. Um, we'll be doing videos of pretty much all the installs and we're going to be following the build of this Razor Turbo pretty closely. So it should be a fun time watching it evolve and grow. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that like button, tell your friends. Also make sure to find your way to our main channel, Adrenaline Junkie Prod. That's where it all began, that's where you'll see these things being abused after the parts are on them. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you next time. Look at you, he's so pretty! Your grips are so soft still. <laughs> drop, drop it. it, drop it. Drop no, the mic, Gus. Got, he knows drop what he the mic, Gus. That was fair game.